Hi, my name is Mark, and I want to demonstrate how to configure an EQ plugin to function like a large mixing console. Um, I'm going to base the numbers upon what Professor Stearns was referring to. I believe it was a Max Mackie mixer of some sort. Uh, most big big name mixing boards, Yorkville, etc. use similar numbers. Okay, so to do that, I've got a MIDI track here, and I want to go find my EQ. EQ, so I have to go up to my device browser and I'm in the effects here and under audio effects I'll see two equalizers, a more simpler version EQ3, I want the EQ8 because I want to put in five different parameters so hence the parametric equalization. Now I'll note here just there are some manufacturer presets, okay Ableton's got some set up which are very good and if you're in a pinch and you're not really used to a mixing board of any sort, those are great. I'm used to using perhaps a Mackie mixing board, so I want to have those presets from the channel strip of the board ready to go when I want them. So to do that, I'm going to double click EQ8 and it pops up in here my audio effects box. And now I'm going to go through each of my parameters and set them as I see fit. So the first one is here. You can see the first tab, here are the settings. I want that to be a low cut or high pass filter. And I want it to have a frequency of 75. So I just click in, in the fields, it's really simple. And I set my hertz at 75 and my bandwidth at 24. Okay, so there's my first one. My second one, okay, is right here. And I want that one to be a low shelf filter which is this symbol here and I can see my tab is automatically chosen that frequency is going to be 80 and a bandwidth of 9.8 now on to my third and my third and fourth are both going to be bell curves so I'll have this symbol and the frequency of my third is going to be 340 hertz and a band 1 and my fourth, as I mentioned, is also going to be a bell. And I want that frequency to be at 2014. And this band at 1. Now my fifth, I want to set as a high, high shelf filter. But I don't have a fifth, so I have to activate it over here. There, now I have a fifth. And I want it to be a high shelf filter. So I choose that. And that's going to have frequency of 12,000. Similar, very uh, common setting on most boards. And then uh, bandwidth one. So I'm going to review here. Five is there, four is a bell, three is a bell. My frequencies are all what I want them at. And low shelf and high pass. So here's my basic equalization that I want would like and I want to save it now so the next time I come in I can just access it and I don't have to set those parameters every time so as soon as I enable to you just click on the save button and it's highlighted over here and then I can save it to name it whatever I want so I something I can remember next time something that makes sense and then the next time I would come in I could just go to that and boom, there it is. And then, of course, I can apply it to my track and change those parameters via drawing, as it's called, to get a nice curve. Thanks for listening to my presentation and watching. I hope this will help you Ableton users to set up an equalizer in your DAW. Cheers.